Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at MX Linux 23.2 versus Linux Mint 21.3. And since MX Linux uses XFCE as its baseline, that's the variant of Linux Mint that we'll be installing today. So it should be apples to apples. But I'm just going to kick these installs off and I'll be back when we get to the installation options. All right, and we'll just click on install Linux Mint. And on the MX Linux side, we'll just click on install MX Linux. And MX Linux has got a check and it's going pretty quick. So we'll go ahead and let that finish. All right, we'll go next. Format and use the entire disk. Yeah, that's fine. All right, on the Linux Mint side, we'll go with continue, English, English. Install the codex, sure. Erase the disk. Pick your time zone, and then here I'll just put in a user. All right, now the Linux Mint install has been kicked off. So let me go back over here. Computer name, MX is fine. Domain is fine. Um, I'm gonna uncheck this. I'm not really gonna use any of that. Okay, our locale. Change this to your location. Default username. super secret password and then if you want a root account go ahead and check that and put in your password if you want to auto log in you'll tick that and then we'll just go next and you can see it created the users and it's installing grub it's just finishing the install there so really quick install on the MX side reboot the system when the installer is closed. Okay, so if I click finish there, it looks like it's gonna reboot. So we'll wait on Linux Mint to finish.
All right, and Linux Mint finished. So what I'm going to do is I'll restart both of these and then I'll join you back at the first login. All right, and we made it to the login screen on both. So I'll just sign in. And on the Linux Mint side, what I'll do real quick, I'll change the wallpaper. And that'll give us some contrast between the two. Okay, so what I wanna do is after we've logged in, I just wanna check for updates on both. So on Linux Mint, it's this little shield at the bottom. We click on that and it'll bring it up. I'll say no to that and apply the update. Put in my password. All right, and on the MX side, we have 24 updates. So we'll view. And we'll just click on upgrade. Put in our password. All right, and then we'll update on the Linux Mint side. Okay, put in our password. All right, and both completed. So what I'll do now is I'll just give them a restart and then I'll rejoin you. All right, and they both contain a driver manager. So if I just click on super and, and type in driver, we've got the driver manager. And on MX Linux, if I just super driver, it's gonna install the NVIDIA driver. So I'm gonna cancel all of that, but that's what you do if you've got an NVIDIA GPU. And on the Linux Mint side, instead of no drivers needed, it would find the NVIDIA driver here and you'd just select it. All right, and we'll look at the system monitor. So it's super and type system. And on XFC, it's called task manager. So let's open that up and do the same on the MX side, task manager. And we see our CPUs between one and two. Our memory's right at one gig. And on the Linux Mint side, CPU one, two, three, and our memory's at one gig. So nearly identical. All right, and if we look at HTOP, on the MX side, memory is right at 800 megabytes. On the Linux Mint side, same thing, 804. So nearly identical. Okay, and if we go under system settings, you will see that they've got, since it's XFC, they've got a lot of the same options here. Appearance, notifications. You can scroll down under hardware, got display and power manager. Scroll down a little further and we can see firewall configuration, session startup, MX does have an ad blocker under settings to where Linux Mint does not. So yeah, pretty much the same. There's a few, few more options on the MX side, I would say. All right, let's take a look at the Firefox version that's installed. All right, and we do see on the Linux Mint side, we're running version 122. And on the MX Linux side, we're running version 122, so it's the same. All right, and installing software on the Linux Mint side, click on Super and go to the Software Manager. On the MX side, Super, and go to MX Package Installer. And in this example, we'll just do Inkscape. All right, on the MX side, you just tick the checkbox and click on install. Put in your password. On the Linux Mint side, we'll just click on Inkscape, which is the system package. We get a gallery 
tells us the name, the version, the download size, and then it's got a little five star system here with a description. So we'll just click on install, shows you the dependencies, put in our password, Let's finish successfully. Okay, close out of that. So now if we go down here to Super and type in Inkscape, there it is. And on the MX side, Inkscape, there it is. All right, let's take a look at the system trays on each. On the Linux Mint side, we've got our time and date. Click on that, we've got a calendar, then our volume button, power settings, network, system updates, clipboard, and notifications. And then we've got our quick launch menu here and then our super. And on the MX side, it shows our time and date and then our hard drive activity, memory, and CPU activity. And then the, you'll notice that the bar is vertical and we've got our power menu so basically log out restart shut down suspend switch user and then our quick launch volume network clipboard updates and then any uh, optical drive that we might have plugged in we can eject that our battery and then our two workstations we can switch between those workspaces and then our super And if we look at NeoFetch on the MX side, we're running kernel 6.1. We've got 2,065 Debian packages. Our desktop environment is XFCE 4.18. And our memory is right at 800 megabytes. On the Linux Mint side, we're running kernel 5.15. We've got 2,156 Debian packages. The desktop environment is XFCE 4.18 and our memory is right at 800. As far as release cycle, both of these distributions release major versions every two years and in between that they release point releases. Alright, we'll take a look at wallpapers. Feel free to pause this portion of the video and take a look at the wallpapers here. I've already changed the Linux Mint side, but for the MX side, we will go with this one. It's a cool blue. And it looks good with the time and date. And that's gonna do it for today's video. Here's some videos that you may find helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.